So Marin stays alive. And everything else dies. Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is the third match of Commander Madness. I'm your host, Urza, and I'm Mishra. And over the next couple months, you will see the top 50 most popular commanders battle it out to see who is the best. That's right, Urza. Each of our players chose four from the top 50 commanders off of the EDH Rec website. Each week, the players will play a high power game using a different commander until all have been played at least once. Each player will then choose one of the four commanders that they've chosen to compete in the finals. So join us for some high power battles with your favorite commanders here at Commander Madness. Dominaria wouldn't be the same without our great supporters, TCG Player and Dragon Shield. So use our links the next time you buy cards or sleeves online. No matter what side of the battle you're on, you're always a winner when you become a Kingdom's patron. We have many fun things in store this year, including our next CDH League and tournament coming soon. Check it out at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. I'm Spencer. I'm going to be playing Marin of Clan Nel Toth. And it's just going to be classic reanimate and killing other people's creatures. I'm Jeff. I'm playing uh, Anawan, the Ruin Thief. Just really trying to play out some rogues, hit the, my opponents though, mill some cards, hopefully find some mill strategies. Overall, this is like a Thoracle list, Thoracle deck. Trying to like mill through my own deck, my opponent's decks to hopefully get to a win com. So I'm playing Crick, the son of Yagma. It's like a father's deck. You know, mostly just mono black fun stuff. There is a CDH version. I definitely uh, not going that route with all of the uh, crazy, crazy combos. This is just some more relaxed combos. Ready to lose a lot of life and profit. Yeah, and I'm playing Krenko Mob Boss. Yeah, kind of just, again, classic goblin deck. Playing a bunch of goblins out on the board. And then I'll be tapping Krenko. I'll be cranking out those goblins. Uh, six. But it's a one man. <laughs> Don't keep it. <laughs> keep it. But look. <laughs> I got nine. You roll the nine. You got an eight. I go first. Pre-game actions? Yeah, pre-game. <laughs> Upkeep. Draw. Island. Go. Okay. Untap. Draw. Takanuma, the abandoned mire. Pass. Draw. Play a mountain. Pass. Draw. Play a forest. And a soul ring. And pass. On tap, uh, keep draw. Uh, play a polluted delta, tap and crack that. Lose one life, I'm gonna lose two more though, because I'm definitely gonna get a watery grave. I'm gonna play a blighted angel. Go! On tap, draw, foil swamp, Spencer's favorite creature, Delphi Voidwalker. Go Again, ahead. wow! Again, I kept a bad hand on the back of a Delphi Voidwalker. Play. I did mole this time. A land, a mountain. If you attack me, I'll attack you, Jeff. Deal. No cast. <laughs> no. I'll cast dragon fodder. You got a soul ring. Go you got no wait. Draw. Play a swamp. Yes. I'm gonna cast guardian project. Okay. And That's pass. a great card. Turn two. Oh, yeah. uh, my turn. <laughs> untap. Up. Keep. Draw. And play a flooded strand. I'm gonna crack that and go get just an island. By the way. All right. I'm gonna do this. It actually doesn't do anything. I didn't read the card right, but it's fine. Two or more creatures. I draw a card. I only have one. Uh, I'm going to attack Spencer for poison. Ooh. Well, at least I'm still at 40 life. And kill. Great. Untap. Draw. Which Frexian God do you want to play with? The one that gives me mana, because apparently keeping a two lane hand is bad. Uh, Font of Agonies. It's got a combat, and I'm going to attack you for three. Go ahead. Okay. Untap. Draw. I'll play a mountain. And I'll play Throne of the God Pharaoh. I'll split it between you two. One and one. One and one. And then I'll end my turn at the beginning of each end step. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures. So each, you'll each lose two. And tap and draw. And play a swamp. I will cast Marin, which will let me draw. Um, I'll pass there. Okay. I'm going to your turn. I'm going to brainstorm. I'm going to untap. Draw for turn. I'm going to play Soaring Thought Thief. 
going to attack uh, Spencer again for some infect. With that, though, you will all mill too. Yeah, you're got, yours is get exiled. So oh, my victimizing greater good. Beetle back chief in a mountain. All right, go. I love when you can play magic with bad cards, and yet it works in your deck like, really well. What are you talking about? I honestly, I'm going to crack it and brainstorm. I have, there's no lands. <laughs> oh. I build for you, too. I know. And go to end step, and we'll discard a crypt ghast. Go ahead. Untap. Upkeep draw. Play a dwarven mine. 1-1 one, one, red dwarf. I'll cast swift foot boots. I'll equip my dwarf with that. The swift foot boots. Swing at you. Yeah. How, how much? Uh, three. Yes. And then everyone will take three at the end of my turn. Draw for turn. I'll play another swamp. I'll play Liliana Dreadhorde General. And I'm going to minus. Yes. Or no, I'm going to plus. No. <laughs> I'm not going to minus. I'm going to plus to get a zombie. I'll pass. I'll untap. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play Dark Ritual. And then play the Commander, Anawan the Ruined Thief. Dang, now I am going to die to infect. <laughs> <laughs> I will attack Dylan for two, and I'm going to attack you for two uh, infect. But on attack triggers, though, everyone will mill two. On damage, though, you will both mill two. Or uh, you mill two. You don't mill two, I guess, because it's infect, I guess. It's weird. Oh, yeah. Because whenever one or more rogues you control deal combat damage to a player, that player mills. It's still still damage. Oh, is it? Yeah. It does damage instead. You can still, lifelink still triggers. If the player mills at least one creature card this way, I drop it. So do you mill the creature? Yes. Did you know creature? I did two creatures. No so creature matters. Plus, I get a draw from this, too. I'm going to play Odawara, Soaring City as a land. I'm going to play, also play out a Triton Sh- Shore Stalker. That, I will say go. Untap. Draw. I'll discard a Tangle Wire, because that's not going to do anything now. Go ahead. Draw. Yeah, mountain. Um, And I'll cast Krenko. I'll move the boots. I'll tap him. And make one, two, three goblins. And then I'll... Sw- Wing at you for three, and then everyone will take three. Uh, four? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Cranko. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah. Untap and draw. Play another swamp. I think I got to do this. Toxic Deluge for three. I'm going to pay three life. So Marin stays alive. And everything else dies? Wait, what's Anwan? Two, four? Yeah, he'll stay alive, too. The both my two of mine. Was- that guy. Yeah, oh, he's, he's huge. So you're just getting rid of my guy? Oh, plus one, plus one. It might but either way, I want Marin to live. No, my zombie dies. I get an experience counter from that. You should have made another zombie first. I thought about it, but I decided I wanted the zombie alive. 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 <laughs> so I'm going to create one after that. I'm going to play Stitcher's Supplier. And there's a battlefield or dies. I mill three cards. I draw off Guardian Project first, don't I? Well, it enters the battlefield, so I can choose. You can stack them how you want to. I can stack it. So I'll just draw. I'll tag Dylan for three first since he's open now. And then I'll move down step and get the Dryad Arbor into play. And then pass. Uh, my turn. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw. Attack Dylan with the Soaring Thought Thief. And I'm going to attack you with the... Awesome. Uh, but everyone mills two first on attack. I draw, by the way. On damage, you both will mill two. You got a creature, though? Yes. Let's so draw for that. And how much damage? Two. Uh, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to play uh, Ghostly Pilfer. And then I'm going to unearth my Blind Vigilant. And then from there, I'm back down to seven in hand, which is what I wanted. And I guess they go. Okay, untap, draw. This card in Cedious Dreams. Go ahead. Untap, draw. Got a mountain. I'm going to cycle a smoldering crater. Pass the turn. Draw a woodland cemetery. Play Birds of Paradise. Wow. Draw off Guardian Project. So uh, how do we kill Spencer? Slowly. I'm trying to decide if I want to minus Liliana right now. Do it. If you alt Liliana, I only lose one permanent. <laughs> <laughs> Big brain thinking all along. I think I'm going to. So each player will sacrifice two creatures. So I'll do the zombie. I should attack first, actually. With just these two, though. Both at Dylan. No. <laughs> for three. Then I will act Liliana and sacrifice them for mine. When this dies, I mill three cards. Oh, I also draw off Liliana. I will play Ravenous Chupacabra and blow up the uh, Thought Thief. And then I draw off Guardian Project. I think I'm going to put the Dalfi Voidwalker into play. Then that's my turn. On top. Draw. I'm going to put Brazen Bar on an adventure. Balance the Dalfi Voidwalker. 
Then I'm going to discard a card with my pilfer, which is going to be a wrinkle. And then I'm going to pay two and animate my wrinkle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attack with both of these. Uh, I'm going to attack at Liliana, though. And go. Untap. Draw. What's, what's he going to do, guys? He could do something big. It's not great. He's going to do something big. Watch. I'm going to cross necromancy. I'm a crypt ghast. There he goes. Actually, what are the what are the odds? What do you what can you can you kill this instantly with something in your graveyard before I pick that as my final answer? If the chupacabra dies, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Or should I get the adventurer? If a creature and opponent controls would die instead of exile it and put a hit counter on it. I think de- this is good for you. Long th- this de- this definitely helps me more. So, and I will pass the turn. Um, tap, draw, mountain. Let's play Cranko. And pass. Let's oh, actually, do for his big turn. end of turn. I want to do something. Discard Takanuma to mill three cards, and then return a creature or planeswalk card from my graveyard to my hand. And yeah, I'm gonna return Liliana. Then I draw for turn. Play Undergrowth Stadium. I am gonna play Liliana again. Honestly, minusing might be my best bet. <laughs> Just lock down the board. <laughs> but then you'd lose your commander. <laughs> but then he'd lose plenty his, of creatures. his chupacabra. Which then he could replace commander later and then just get it back. I, I might be better. That Marley might be the best thing. Is just to Honestly, I'm going to play Douthy Voidwalker. Yep, I'm going to down tick to two. Each player sacrifices. I think I'm going to sacrifice the Dryad Arbor, actually. Oh, there you go. Smart. And sacrifice the my entire board. And you can bring the Dryad Arbor right back, by the way, too. Um, and then they're exiled, right? Yep. Oh, they are exiled. Oh, wow. I draw off the Liliana triggers. I get two. I'm going to attack Jeff. I haven't attacked Jeff, though. For, for three. Two, three. And then I can go to end step. Get something five or less into play. I'm going to return <laughs> Erebos, God of the Dead. So it's a creature now. Your opponents can't get in life, and I can pay two and two left to draw a card. Oh, and I draw off Guardian Project. I have to discard two cards. Spencer's just in the driver's seat for this game. That's all that matters. <laughs> so much. Foundation. Now I just need to get something oh, to kill you oh, guys. Yeah. I've just lo- I've locked it down. I gotta kill you guys quick now. <laughs> uh, you have an Avengers Zendikar oh, in pass. your graveyard. By I the do. Way. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I, that's why I, I w- actually wanted to get that instead of this. I thought about but... just taking that just to be diffi- make it difficult <laughs> yeah. for you. <laughs> that's actually the next Bro. thing I gotta get. All right, I'm gonna play a soul ring. Yeah, I think that's my turn. Go. Um, tap. Drow. Pay four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put six counters on my enchantment. Cast my commander. Cast trigger. Cast a dead real look. Should I hit Douthy Voidwalker? And just put an end to that madness. Does that help you? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll hit Marin. Does it matter? He he no, I'll, he hit, I'll hit the hit Douthy. He gets, I'll hit Douthy. On, he gets on end step. Um, and I will pass the turn. Okay, on tap, draw, play a mountain, Chiron negotiations, I'll pass. I think I'm going to go at the end of turn. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the font. Beast of the draw for turn, Veridant Catacombs, play Hi- Haywire Might, draw off Guardian Project, I'll play Gromp. I'm going to create a zombie token. I didn't draw off Gromp. He said he's in the driver's seat, but it's like... He's the only one driving the boat. And like, we're, we're tied up <laughs> in so a storm. I'm, I'm trying to end it right now. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'll play Ashnod's Altar. Yeah. There we go. We're going to delay that. <laughs> okay. Suspend four. How many? Suspend three. Well, I think I got to just go to end step. Yeah. Well, I can attack still. No. See a creature. Five. I will attack Jeff again. That's what I'll do. Demon's Disciple. So it, when it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> that was from my experience counter and I dropped. Thanks for the beast. Off it entering and dying. Okay, I'll pass. And off to discard. Since he's divining top. <gasps> hey, are we, are we dead? <laughs> I'm going to do this. Tap my like a bolt. And then I'm also going to look at the three. I am actually going to spin the top and draw this card. Put back in top. Can I uh, respond to the top? Sure. After you activate it by exiling it, sack this. You gain two life when it dies. Okay, I and still I draw. draw a card off. Mm-hmm. Play a swamp. I should crack my uh, catacombs since I didn't earlier. I will have that enter untapped. Go. That does not inspire confidence. <laughs> Untap. Draw. Swamp. Four. Cast chainer. I think I'm gonna go one, two, pay five, and get Chupacabra. Chupacabra enters the battlefield, destroy a target creature and opponent controls. 
It's going to be Marin. Crick should have gotten a counter off a chainer. Go to combat. Attack Lily for four with Crick. Um, I'm going to Petrify. I'm going to cast Armor of Shadows on my Crick. Indestructible this turn? Yep. Gets plus one power as well. So he's going to hit Lily for more. Oh no. So six. And I will pass turn. Untap. Draw. Play a mountain. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. We appreciate Cranko. 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 I'm just going to hold tight right here. Draw. I'm going to replay Marinch. Cost six. I'll play Necropotence. I'll move to my end step. And I can grab the Avengers in the car. Um, should I do it now then? We have, oh, it is my next That's what I'm saying. You have to do it now if you're going to get the cards, though, or is it later, okay. later? I'll, I'll pay seven. So I guess that would have been before this end yeah. in the car. And then clean up, you have to discard down two seven. Yeah. I also draw a Guardian Project. And you discard into exile. Do you control a plant token when plant token is a battlefield? Does that work with Guardian Project, or is it non token? It's non token. While he's doing that, I'm going to do my thing now. I'm going to Memory Plunder, Ooh. and I'm going to target your little searchy card. I'm going to cast City Streams. I'm going to discard these two cards, Deed of Swarm and Chain of Vapor. All right, my turn. Avenge us. Draw. Floating one colorless. And I will play Chase, Wielder of Mysteries. Oh. 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 I'm going to show you what I did wrong, just so you can see how stupid I am, though. Okay, so I'm going to take Chase. I'm going to target myself. I'm going to mill the two card. One of the cards I needed. Oh, it's okay. It wouldn't have happened anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would have. <laughs> oh, you have a counter spell in hand too? Ah. Uh, going to Red Elemental Blast, Jace. Just now. Just, <laughs> just now. <laughs> All right, I had one floating though. Arcane Denial, which is the reason why I was going to win with that. <laughs> oh, you get to draw uh, cards. Uh, you get to draw two cards at the beginning of your of the next beginning of the next upkeep, and I get to draw a, a card. So you, you were expecting him to count. Oh, Jay. I was expecting it. Yes. <laughs> and the fact that he didn't was the problem. I would have been able to play demonic consultation, exiled my library. If you'd gone to do something like that, I play Arcane Denial, and then on his upkeep, I attempt to draw where there's no library. And I would have won. My turn. So, um, yeah, go. Upkeep. And I'll draw. Guys, I've drawn lands three turns in a row. It's glorious. Cast Lily onto the Dark Realms. I'm going to plus one Lily in a tutor for Ace's Womp. I will be done after that. And tap. Upkeep. Draw. Okay. I'll play Skirk Prospector. Sacrifice a goblin to add mana. I'll cast uh, Goblin King. And I'll cast Goblin Rabble Master. Yeah, I'll go to combat. Beginning of combat, I create a goblin for Goblin Rabble Master. So before I have to declare attackers, uh, tap one. Can or tap I one. respond to that? You can yeah. respond to the trigger of, of Cranko, yeah. I'm going to cast. Wrath of Board. <laughs> <laughs> I have two men. Terra Sunder to exile Chiron Negotiation. So SK Acre, it's exile target artifact or enchantment. If this spell was kicked, exile target non-land permanent instead. In response, I will give you three. And then that will get exiled. Uh, oh, and this one. Sorry, another one. So then it creates one, two, three, four, five goblins. I'll just use that for to cycle my tectonic reformation. Draw a card. I'll just sack the tapped one to equip boots to Krenko. And pass. Uh, in response to that trigger, oh, I will yeah. attempt I to reanimate this. something from your graveyard and die. <laughs> <laughs> so then everyone will take one, two, three, four damage. Spencer's got to go for the win, or at least kill Dylan. <laughs> or kill Jace. Or kill Jace. Well, <laughs> I'm going to play Gary. Killing Jace hey, is important. Hey, yeah, that's oh, there what we go. I was trying to do. Seven damage. If I could find a way to sack Gary now. If only he had an astronaut's altar. It's almost like that card's good. <laughs> If you hadn't have delayed that, I think I would have won by now. I think so, too, actually. <laughs> I'm going to pay, I think, just three more life. Is that all three cards? What can I get out of my graveyard? I didn't draw off Gary. Can I go back and draw off Gary? Go ahead, draw off Gary. I'm going to draw that one and put this one there. <laughs> Does this matter is the question. Alter of dimension. <laughs> well. I will sack that. Oh, Dylan Mill, too. Hasty Goblin Boy. Hasty Goblin Boy. I love that. Hasty goblin. Cheap Cheapo Goblin Boy. You're open, too. He's got five. Five oh, one yeah. ones. I guess I can just <laughs> kill Jeff straight up here. What, you're going to reanimate Gary, aren't you? You need those life points. It's true. I should not kill him, but get him within. I'll do a, both of these. A zombie could do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'll do it with these two. Okay. It'd be seven, so it'd be two. And then an end step. 
Gary. I gain 14, or do I not gain? I think he only gains two off me, right? You can't lose life that you don't have, right? Yeah, I think that's just how it goes. So, uh, that's fine. I gain nine. So I draw off Guardian Project. These go to my hand. And then I pass. All right, Dylan. Can, okay. you, can you pull it out? I'm then tapped. just Dylan. Depends on what I draw. You can hit him for 32. I believe. Draw. <laughs> you need that enchantment. I think you would have had it for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. War Storm Surge. I will frozen grip that. So it's on the battlefield. I want to wait, don't I? Yeah, he gets priority. Before, yeah. So I could frozen grip the throne, and that might actually be a better bet. Yeah, I'm gonna frozen grip the throne. Okay. Wait, this has split second though. Oh, does it? Oh. Okay. Frozen so grip? I can't do anything. Is it in Japanese? It is. It's your own dang fault. So, <laughs> so War Storm. Yeah, the War Storm. Final answer. Yep. Phone of Ren. <laughs> no, destroy or exile. Destroy, right? It's destroy. I'll go to combat. I'll create my 1-1, one, one. so I'll make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, so I'll make 10 more. Yep, and I'll end with a throne trigger, so ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep, 10. And your turn. Untap and draw. I can finish it off. Here. I don't draw. Ashton's altar comes in, finally. Look at that. You Nim affecting Death the Mantle. Game. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Rolf's Messenger, and I can infinitely deal damage to you. Well, Mishra, this is what we're looking for in these matchups. We had everybody coming out, everyone doing their thing, and it really came down to who could get the combo first. You're right, Urza. I always say resiliency is one of the most important things you can ask for in a commander, and Marin has it coming out of the graveyard. What did you think so far? We'd love to hear in the comments. If you're enjoying the kingdom, consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Also, we do have a great group of patrons, and I'd love to see you over there, so check it out at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. Our biggest shout outs to our fellow kings, Jordan Ritchie and Worthy Glover. You both rule. A big thank you to our samurai patrons, Chris Crowley, Chandler Carlisle, Dr. Birdseed, and Jason Garner, LDAP, Matias Salazar, Morton Christensen, and Revolution Gaming. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. Thanks to our knights for keeping the kingdom safe and, remember, keep it nerdy.